Here we have this 1972 Safari Flybridge in excellent condition. You can see she's got great lines. She's powered with twin Volvo 57 engines. Has a nice flybridge. Windless docking lights. Great to fish, great for family fun also. Well, we got to see Sour Wench handling on the water, just close quarters maneuvering and then coming in with a slip. Are you looking for a nice fly bridge? Well, join me on a quick walkthrough tour on this 1972 28-foot safari. She's hole number 12. She's had a lot of R&R, &R, so she's good for another generation of boaters. Here we are on this 28 safari on the forward bow section. We see some nice features. She's got a shortened bow pulpit, which is great for slip, reduces the fees, LOA. We've got docking lights right here, windless, nice little fore deck and a place for the anchor. Nice solid stainless steel rails. And then as we come down along the side, we see we've got our horn, and notice there's grab rails all around the cowl so we can access the bow in some safety. Coming down along the side, we see we've got large windows. These window frames have been redone, so they're nice and solid. There we have our safari badge right there and our AC shore power inlet right here. Overlooking the cockpit, we see we have a bait tank with a nice tabletop. Lots of space. We can use these engine boxes as fishing platforms. We also have cushions going across to fill in. That's a ladies like it feature. So they have a place to lounge. Got a nice teak swim step back here. And then that gives us a view of the bridge there. Let's go aboard. Once aboard, sour wench, let's check out the engines. Lift up these boxes right here. We have twin Volvo 5.7, 260 horsepower. They have new risers and manifolds. And this is unique, they're freshwater cooled. Let me point out this boat does have a brand new fuel tank, so she's good for years to come. From here, let's go atop. We reach the bridge up this ladder here and haul ourselves up. Immediately in front of us, we see we've got back to back fold down seats on both sides. This way, our driver's never alone. Here at the helm, we have our radio, VHF, stainless steel ship's wheel, all of our gauges, hour meters showing 527 and 620, got our large compass there, our Morris shift and throttle right there and our Lowrance HDS9 for electronics. A 
looking aft, we see we've got multiple rod holders, bimini. There's also a full canvas cockpit cover Just a nice up here. overview of the cockpit. Let's go inside. We enter the cabin through this door with a nice big hatch on there with screens to allow light and air to the interior. This vessel was built by Carter Marine. She's hull number 12, built in 1972. Inside, we've got about six and a half feet, maybe a little bit more on the headroom. Immediately upon entry, we have our wet head here, vanity above, toilet below. It's a new toilet with a holding tank underneath. Pull out RV style shower and an opening window for light and air. Moving forward, we see we've got a booth style dinette with built-in storage underneath. This area also converts to a sleeping area. Looks like we've got a bachelor's meal ready to go. Circling forward, we see we have a very large V berth. It's over seven and a half feet long and full beam also. Great place for a couple. Add a few kids in there and we still have some room. The curtains dissipate the light, keep it nice and bright in here with reducing the heat. As you can see the side windows open. To starboard, we've got a fair amount of counter space, about 21 inches. And then below, numerous drawers. Here we have a three burner gas stove, drawers underneath, and then our refrigerator right here. This safari also comes with a trailer, so she's easily maneuverable. The boat has had a new transom installed, new fuel tank, new wiring. She's good for another generation of users. Neat, clean, odor-free, turnkey, viewer today, owner tomorrow at South Mountain Yachts.